Hi, this is 365801 and this is a TPR video for the 801 Readathon. So I'm first of all going to look at um, one of the challenges because there are five and one of them is to read some prose. <laughs> so I do have quite a lot I could choose from. Um, if I just move these out of the way because I have lots of danme here. Um, I tried reading a lot of this last year. I did not get it completed, which is a bit unfortunate. Um, so if I move that out of the way. I do have all of these ones though. So I've certainly added to my pile, my stack, in the course of a year. Um, I've not read any of Guardian, so that would be an interesting one. But I also have Volume 1 of Salad Days. And I think that would be an interesting one to read and it would make me more motivated to pick up volume two um, so that I could read the whole thing. Um, I also have these two are the older ver volumes of In the Dark. I know that there's um, a newer version with three volumes which I would also like to pick up from Peach Flower House. Um, I also have these ones, Thousand Autumns. Like, do I want to read the original, like the proper licensed version? Mm, yes. <laughs> I also have Jula Richard and I kind of want to read a bit of Jula Richard as well because I have quite a few of the volumes. I also have up here Kiss Me Liar, um, which was from Word Excerpt. And I'm not too sure if they had the license correct, um, but it is volume one. And of course it says at the end um, that it's going to be continued in volume two I think yeah the story continues in volume two but there is no volume two this was it but it is Omegaverse which sounds fun um and I know that it's got um like a webcomic type thing so I kind of feel like this might be my choice for prose um as a bit of fun because I know that I don't think we're going to get anything else I don't think we're actually going to get this again um, and it would be fun to just have it one and done, get it done with and it won't be the full story but it'll be what it'll be um, I have read also what was it The Missing Piece and I can't remember if that was from um, Via Lactia I don't know how to pronounce it or if it was also word excerpt but yeah, I think this might be one of the choices for my pros. The other one, if I go up here and get ugh, all the other stuff that keeps falling down. Um, the other one I have is a KJ Charles. One, because it's KJ Charles. If you haven't read any KJ Charles, I do recommend. She is a queen. Um, but this is one that I have on my 24 to read in 2024. And I also have the audiobook version of it. So even if I am busy doing stuff, like when I have to walk to work, or if I'm going to sleep and I don't want to read and I need to rest my eyes, but I still want to have something to listen to, um, this I think would be a good choice to have. Um, so this is one that I can read along with. So I, I, even though I probably won't get both of these done within the week, I do think at least giving this a start <laughs> so, that, so I can try and read it before the end of the year. It's one of my, one of my goals. I have like absolutely no problem just flying through a KJ Charles. So, and I've been like itching to read this for ages. It's going to be good. It's like supernatural and... Uh, fun. Uh, so yeah, this this has got the two that I think that I'll probably go for. Um, one that's just actually I think you got I think there's an audio book for Kiss Me Liar as well. Maybe I could get that. I do have credits on Audible. Um, I think I remember listening to the 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 like uh, sample and thinking mm, maybe I should just get this, and then I ended up being able to pick this up. This came out in hardback, paperback, and audio, so yeah, maybe I could get the audio for Kiss Me Liar as well. May as well. <laughs> May as well. <laughs> so yeah, these are the two I'm thinking, and these are ones that I want. I do want to read, I really want to read this, but I do want to do a reread of You Can Have My Back, um, but now that volume three is not coming out until September, I'm like, do I want to wait and then binge? But I don't know how many volumes this is going to have. Um, but yeah, that's one. This is one that I'm like, ooh, itching, itching to read. This one, just for the reread fun. Ugh, it's going to be good. So yeah, but these are the ones that I'm, I'm going to choose. I think this will be 
a good choice. When it comes to another the challenge, which is non-Japanese. Um, so uh, web comics, manhwa, graphic novels, that kind of thing. I don't actually have a huge number of physical ones. Um, but I do have these. I showed this in my announcement video. So this is definitely going to be on the list. I um, want to read these. I've got volumes one, two, three, and four. Um, this is nine volume series, but I don't have the other ones yet. But I'm very happy to have these ones. So I will keep an eye out for um, volumes five through nine. But I think I can get these ones done because... I last year I read on or off and that was really good but I need to get physical copies of them as well um, so I like the idea of having the physical copies of a web comic <laughs> it'll be a quick quick and easy read um, but this is definitely something I want to read that's non-Japanese now like I said I don't have too many other things but I do have this this was on my TBR for um the lgbt manga readathon and i tried to give it a go but i didn't quite get very far into it i think i just got like a couple of pages in um of volume one of breaks which is a republication of this um and it's got more volumes coming out so this might go on my list as well as something else that i've purchased this year which is um martin and john by he young park and it says volume one but that was the only one that was actually published and obviously this is korean as well so this is also something that i think can go on my tbr for non-japanese bl now i don't have too many other um <laughs> non-japanese ones this is kind of it this is the this is the net comics drawer which is full of all the net, net comic stuff and a lot of this I haven't actually read and I kind of need to um obviously I pur purchased a lot of the boy princess uh this year which I would like to read but I will wait until um me and Katie can do a buddy read of it I have now got Prince Barry all the volumes one through to six so I could do that. And I have the smaller series, like Not So Bad and Ruderville that I haven't read. As well as Intent, I haven't read that. Or To Take an Enemy's Heart. But that's a bit m much for just the week. So I'm thinking, stick with um, those three that I've already mentioned and just leave these for some other time. Um, unless I like run out of things to read, <laughs> which I don't think that's possible. But I think I've got plenty of things to um keep me occupied for a week i'm always more ambitious with my tbr than i really should be so i want to be a bit more realistic about it now another one of the challenges is to watch a bl animation and there is obviously um a new one coming out we just had tadaima okairi that one um and now we've got where is it twilight out of focus which is the new one. So I could read this, or at least, uh, where is volume one? There's volume one. I could I could read Twilight Out of Focus, because it is on my list 24 to read in 2024, and then see if I can get um, the anime as well, and then I could read and watch them at the same time, which would be quite a good idea, I think. But the one that I really want to <laughs> is my box set here if I just get this um I have quite a lot of dvds for Shingeki Nakamura um they're Japanese <laughs> so they don't all have um subtitles but there's just something about Junjo this was the one that really uh made me fall in love it's terrible it's like full of bad tropes and stuff but I just absolutely love Misaki and um Sakurai Takahiro when he's doing his voice, Janakte. <laughs> I think it helped me so much to uh, learn Japanese. Um, so yeah, I could definitely do a bit of a a rewatch of a bit of Junjo Romantica. Um, I don't actually know what this one is. I don't know when I bought it or who I got it from. Um, but I have all of these in Japanese. The original box sets in Japanese. Uh, I have so much merchandise for Janjo Romantica 
Sekai, Chatskoi, uh, Hybrid Child, all of that. <laughs> but I don't have them here in this house. But I do have these ones. And this was the one that I just like fell in love with. I, I could maybe do the voiceover myself. Um, like, what is it? Senta shiken made yonkagets. <laughs> then he opens the door and it's like and like I honestly I could probably do the voiceover uh, so yeah I think this is something that I'd like to to watch better Janjo better Janjo can't, can't go wrong with it just because it's been such a long time this came out in 2008 I think well the actual anime was so it's been a long long time and I do have a soft spot in it. And it's a bit sad that we didn't get the full um, manga. Which I do have um, the first four volumes here. I do own them all. I have volumes 1 through 12 from Blue. And then I have probably 1 through 11. And then I have the odd one here and there as well. So I have like multiple um, copies. But I think I only have one volume 12. <laughs> So I only have one complete set, uh, but that's all you need. That's all you need. So I could read a bit of Janjo Romantica. That would be something. A bit of nostalgia. A bit of nostalgia after all this time. Oh, doesn't that look terrible? <laughs> I bet it's terrible. It's been on such a long time, though. And her style, Shinkuku Nakamura style, has changed so much. But then when I find out how old she is, she's like my age. She's like not too, like we're quite close in age. And I was like, whoa, okay. So this was being published when she was, you know, maybe 20, maybe 21, something like that. She was pretty young. She was pretty young. So she's been changing and adapting and improving her style for all that time. So yeah, that's something that I think it would be a fun thing for me to do. The other thing, one of the challenges is to do is to watch a live action. And I mentioned that in the announcement video as well. That I finally, um, finally read, oh, uh, volume nine of My Love Mix Up. And I really wanted to wait to watch the live action. I don't actually know where you can get it. I haven't even looked. But that's something that I think would be good. So I think watching the live action of My Love Mix Up. Now that I've completed it, I don't feel like it would be spoilers. Although this volume, oh, this volume. Well, I mean, no one warned me. No one warned me about the start of this volume. Because I just honestly was like, no. <laughs> you had me in the first half, not gonna lie. So yeah, um... Yeah, it makes me want to makes me want to watch the drama, the live action drama, and see um, if it's something that um, is is just as good. Because loads of people said it was really good, so yeah, this is something I think I'd like to watch as live action. But the the problem is I don't actually know a lot of um, live action BLs. That's one that I haven't really been keeping up to date with. So if you know any good live action BLs, I need to get on it. I need to start watching these. Um, so yeah, I uh, need your recommendations down in the comments below. What is your favourite live action BL? Uh, where can I watch it? Because <laughs> uh, that's what I need. So yeah, any any recommendations? What, what are people watching or have watched over the years? I'm so behind on them all. Honestly, I don't think I've watched a single Thai BL. Not a single one. So yeah, give me some recs. While I'm here, I'm just going to show... Like, these are all my, like... My really lazy red piles. These are things that I've read. Uh, I've read quite a lot um, <laughs> over the past year, but well, this first few months of the year. But I, I'm pretty, pretty lax. It's pretty small compared to last year's. What I did do was read a lot of volume ones, um, and I feel like I need to rectify that and move on. So we're going to show you. What the main challenge is, which is reading, um, number one challenge to read some Japanese BL. Here is the problem. <laughs> Hi, it's me. I'm the problem. It's me. Um, this is my problem. Um, this is all of the things that I've purchased so far this year that I have not read. A couple of them are, are things that I owned already and I've just put them in the stack because I need to be reminded to read them. So this is this whole stack is basically my TBR. 
Um, so I'm never, I'm never going to be able to read all of this in the week, especially with other things as well. So I need to be really discerning and really focus on uh, things I'm going to enjoy and also be very picky about things. And I feel like I can make progress in series if I read the next one in the series, if you know what I mean. Like if I've only read volume one, for example, Sotus, in that volume one video, I read volume one, but I've got volume two right here. I do not own volume three. So if I read volume th two, I will at least be up to date in my collection. So that makes sense. Uh, whereas here I have Confessions of a Shy Baker and that's volume one and I have volume two. So I need to read volume one and two. So I feel like I can be uh, really picky about what I've got and be more up to date if I'm discerning. <laughs> so for example, here I've got Classmates volume five, but I don't have the volume six, this is, which is Blanc. Um, but I've read up to this one. So if I read this, I will be up to date on my collection. Does that make sense? So I feel like I should add Classmates Volume 5 to my TBR. But then there's also things I just really want to read because they're brand new <laughs> in my collection and I'm excited about them. Like The Dragon's Patrol, that's only a two volume series. Like, I know I'm going to love this. It's Megaru Hinohara. It's um, marriage and stuff, isn't it? Are they? They're betrothed, yes. I love a betrothed. And one of them's, I think, a, well, obviously a dragon. <laughs> it's betrothed, like, obviously. <laughs> yeah, so, <laughs> like, the name's right there. It's, it does exactly what it says on the tin. Yeah, so, <laughs> I really want to read some that I know I'm going to be excited about, but I, I honestly don't know. Like, I'm up to date. I think I've got volume three of black or white so I could read three and four I have like what I have like all of the seaside strangers so far except for I think volume volume six and seven something like that so um I have my mate is a feline gentleman UK arc and the first one so there's I honestly don't know I don't know what I'm gonna read it's too much choice um so this is me supposed to be picking my TBR and I'm not doing a very good job <laughs> Um, but if I have like the latest, like given I have read volume seven, so I could read volume eight. That would be me up to date. I've got volume three of my summer of you. I've read volumes one and two. So if I read number three, then that's me up to date. I've got volume three and volume four of black or white, but I don't have volume five. So if I read those two volumes, I'll be up to date. And here, Monster and the Beast, volume four. So if I read that. It's a completed series and they'll be up to date. So yeah, um, <laughs> I don't know, but I'm going to pick out a few here um, from this stack. If there's anything in this stack that you're like, oh, I haven't read that yet and I want to during this 801 readathon, um, how about a buddy read? Let me know and then we can buddy read them. So yeah, I will, I'm happy to be dictated to by other people because it stops me having to make the decision and I'm very bad at making the decision of what I'm going to read next. I need, I need, I need some direction, but I'm going to pick out a couple anyway that I feel, um, I will feel good about, um, reading things that I need to read and that will make progress as well. So here's a few things that I pulled out of the stack. Um, as you can see at the bottom, I've got the non-Japanese BL, which is Breaks, which is a graphic novel, Fiji Alex, which is a printed webcomic, and Martin and John, which is a Korean uh, manhwa. Then I've got Jonjo Romantica um, as the anime that I'm planning on watching. And then My Love Mix-Up is there to represent, hopefully, fingers crossed, the live action but as i've said if anyone's got any recommendations for ones that i should watch um let me know what's your favorite live action bl and then i've got two pros at the top there the secret casebook of simon fixmo by kj charles and kiss me liar by zig um, and then i've got some japanese bl um quite a wee stack Obviously, um, Sotus is not originally the story 
I don't think is originally by um, a Japanese individual, so I'm not entirely sure if it was made, if it was drawn by someone who's Japanese. I don't know. I'll need to check into that one. Um, so yeah, this is what I've got. After we gazed at the starry sky, I read this digitally, so I'd like to read it in physical form. Uh, I'm kind of chubby and I'm your hero. Is a volume two. I've read volume one, so that would be a complete series. My Summer of You is at volume three, so that would complete that series. Twilight Out of Focus would also start a series, and the anime is being shown at the moment. Uh, then we've got Sotus Volume 2, which would continue a series. Sasaki and Miano continuing the series. A Hero in the Demon's Castle, um, and Eiji and Shiro from Zeros to Heroes. These are both one shots by Kuma, and they're very new to my collection. I don't know anything about them. So I'm hoping they'll be really good. Then I've got volume 5, OB, Classmates. Um, this is continuing the series. I do need to pick up Blanc soon. Um, then I've got Mobsters in Love, volume 1. Um, this is starting a new series. Then I've got The Dragons Patrols, the volume 1 and 2. So that would be starting and completing. And then I've got volume 3 and 4 of Black or White, which would continue the series. And then given volume 8, which would keep me up to date with the series. So there's a few there and they're all doing different things, which I think is a good mix. But I definitely feel like uh, I would want to read all of these. And I've been itching to do it, just sit down and luxuriate in a, a week of um, reading BL and getting up to date. So yeah, if any of these are ones that you haven't read yet and you'd like to, uh, read you during the week. We can buddy read them. Um, I'd love to know everyone else's thoughts on these as well. And if there's anything in that I've shown in, in the video so far or in any of my videos that you um, would like to buddy read with me uh, that I haven't read, then I'd, um, <laughs> as I said, very happy to take direction when it comes to things to read. Uh, so yeah, this is my TBR for the week for the 801 Readathon. Um, I'd love to know what everyone else is going to be reading, watching, doing. Um, use the hashtag 801 reads and tag me in all of your social media posts. Um, I'm really excited about seeing what everyone else is going to be doing during this week. I'm very excited about hosting this readathon uh, for the second year. Fingers crossed it goes okay. <laughs> uh, let me know in the comments down below what you're going to be um, reading, um, especially with the treasure hunt bingo board I think it'll be interesting to see if I can get anything um I'm hoping at least for a bingo <laughs> uh, yeah thanks so much for watching to the end of this uh give it a like subscribe share if you want to share and um spread the word and hopefully more people will get involved and take part in this readathon as well uh, that'd be really great I'd appreciate it thanks so much for watching to the end take care guys I'll see you in the next video bye